Hey, what's going on, everybody? Matt Modak here with Odds Jam, here to give you some last minute bets to lock in for today's NFL betting slate Chiefs, Jags, Eagles, Giants. Let's chat. I'm not going to dilly dally around it using Odds Jam to find these positive expected value plays. So I am uh, actually skipping this Jalen Hurts over 0.5 interceptions one, not because I'm an Eagles fan, but because I don't think it's quite a good enough outlier when you compare every other book. So I'll get into what I mean about that in a little bit. The first play that we are going to go ahead and lock in here is Travis Etienne under 19 and a half receiving yards. So this play is at plus 100 odds at Caesars. So you know that this is the positive EV bet because it's bolded and it's got the italics around it, basically a siren saying, bet me. And everything kind of comes from these Novig odds here, right? That's where the profitability, everything is pulled from. And we see on the screen here that they read minus 104.7. So these odds are pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world. So the way that the positive EV betting works is Ajdam pulls lines from the sharpest sports books in the world in terms of pricing odds, right? The sports books that consistently do the, <clears throat> excuse me, do the best job at pricing odds. And then, so pull lines from these books and then um, cr uh, remove the VIG, excuse me, using a weighted average. And that's exactly what these odds represent. So they're pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world with the VIG removed using a weighted average, basically saying like, hey, these X amount of sports books consistently do the best job at pricing odds. Let's use them to set the market and then anywhere in which we can get better odds. And when I say better odds, I mean more favorable to the sports better. So higher payout, that's going to be profitable over the course of time. That's going to be profitable. Profitable, excuse me, it should be priced one way. We are getting it for less expensive. Basically, we're getting more money for it. So that's going to be a profitable venture in the long run. I'm not saying this is a lock that ETN is guaranteed to go under this number or that you're going to profit every single day, uh, week, month with positive EV betting, but in the long run, things will work out in your favor. So this is play number one, Travis ETN under 19 and a half receiving yards. I like this one. Um, Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book in the world, prices this at minus 123. The other side of it, the over at minus 104. So they're heavily favoring this going under, as is DraftKings. And then Bet Online has it basically 50-50. So when you are locking in player props, you want to look at um, three, mostly two, but three sports books as considered kind of like the sharpest and what you want to use to kind of set the lines. So Pinnacle being one, I mentioned at minus 123, that's a good sign considering you're getting it at plus 100. Bet Online is another sharp sports book, um, but they basically have this as a 50 50 outcome, right? I know this, they're charging equal amounts of juice on each side. So the over is at minus 114, the under is at minus 114. So that's them saying they don't know what side of this is more likely. So they're charging equal amounts of juice on each side. DraftKings is the third one, not quite as sharp as the first two, but still pretty good. They have the, again, are heavily favoring the under. So all in all, this Travis Etienne under uh, 19 and a half receiving yards is a good play. So looking at the Jalen Hurts one, the reason why I decided not to lock it in is because look at where majority of sports books price it, right? Like Bet365 is at plus 130. Bet Rivers is close. DraftKings, Caesars, Betfred, BetMGM, they're all close to the Bet365 line. The only two are Pinnacle, which is like, you know, Pinnacle is given weight, but it's not given 100% of the weight. And then FanDuel. So the majority of sports books actually price this closer to the bet 365 number. So I didn't lock it in. And that's the logic why. So when you see me skip a play, it's because I've already reviewed it and uh, did not deem it was a good enough outlier in order to bet. So I try to be as selective as possible to just minimize variance. Same thing with this Daniel Jones one, right? Plus 155 at bet 365. If you remove the VIG from Pinnacle, it's not going to be an outlier, nor is it from like Bally Bet or Betfred. So it wasn't an outlier to the sharpest book, nor the majority of sports books. So I skipped it. Play number two, play that I didn't skip, Daniel Bellinger over 22 and a half receiving yards. So again, this is another play that's at plus 100 odds. Odds Jam Perfect Line prices this at minus 101. So a little bit above minus 101. So we are getting some value there. Um, and then again, let's look at the sports books and where they price it. Pinnacle favors the over. DraftKings favors the over. Then it's 50-50 at MGM and FanDuel, as well as FoxBet. Caesars is the only book that is not favoring the over, along with Bet365. Clear outlier here. And then another thing 
in what you can do when you are um, looking to bet on plays that have like a little bit of a higher total. So this would be like a yardage total. Um, you can click view event page in a new tab. And then it pulls up where every sports book is pricing odds for this play. So we took, excuse me, um, Daniel Bellinger to go over 22 and a half receiving yards. Any sports book, except for points bet, which has it at 20 and a half, but they're heavily juicing it at minus 125. The other sports books, a majority of them, price it above this number, 23 and a half and 24 and a half. So the fact that we're taking over 22 and a half and we're getting even money for it is a pretty good sign when you compare every other sports book. So this is play number two, Daniel Bellinger over 22 and a half receiving yards. Play number three, we are looking at Pat Mahomes to go over two and a half passing touchdowns. So this is at plus 105 at Fox Bet. No book has this for plus money. Pinnacle at minus 107. Bet Online has it at 50 50. DraftKings minus 110. Again, the closest book is at minus 105. So no book has it for plus money, and we're getting it for plus 105, which means that you can win, if you win 50% of your bets at plus 105, you are profiting. So that's kind of why, I mean, this isn't rocket science, but why it's valuable sometimes to play plus money plays because your win percentage can be lower and you can still profit. So this is play number three. Play number four and my last one, Travis Etienne under 71 and a half rushing yards. Uh, This is at minus 101 at Caesars. So, So for whatever reason, looks like the sharp books are fading Etienne, both his rushing and receiving for um, this uh, Chiefs uh, Chiefs Jags game, excuse me. So I'm trusting the data. Going to go ahead and lock it in. Pinnacle heavily favoring the under. Betfred slightly favoring the under. Every other book has it at pretty much 50-50, which is essentially what we're getting as close to 50-50 as you can at minus 101. Uh, if you view this event page in a new tab, uh, you will see that, again, since we're blocking in a yardage one, you will see that majority of sports books price Travis Etienne below this number. I mean, not majority. Every other one that doesn't price it at 70 and a half prices it below at 70 or 69. So they're telling you that he's more likely to go under 71 and a half rushing yards, either by how they juice it or by where they price the total at. So no matter how you slice it, good play here on Travis Etienne. And that's going to be it. So make sure you lock in these bets and enjoy the betting slate tonight.